think that it was uh, not only an interesting discussion, but uh, a very exciting discussion. Well, there cannot be participation if there is no transparency. If you do not know what's going on, how can you participate? I mean, I've looked at the transparency register and there's a figure of... Um, yeah, that's based on the information yeah. given by the company or the, the consultancy. No so I just go online and type in a figure? Correct. Yeah. 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 Really? But, it, but this is... Yeah. <laughs> I think up to now it has worked very well for something which is new. Of course, there are some uh, tooling problems. Um, uh, we will publish soon the first annual report about the uh, operations of the register. So all in all, I think we, are, we can be very satisfied with the way it works, but there is uh, room for improvement, of course. You know, ultimately, this is a campaign for a form which says, this is the person we're lobbying, this is the issue we're lobbying on, this is how much we spent, these are the people doing it, you know, this is why we're doing it. That's, that's reasonable. This, you know, and we really need to turn it around, the question, from the people who are calling for transparency to people who are not and say, what are you scared of? What is it that you actually are worried about here? Uh, for my example, I earn nothing aside. Uh, I'm, I'm still a licensed lawyer, but I'm not operating as a lawyer. Um, I'm owner of, a, of a, just a normal law firm which has nothing to do with special European law cases. I think it's impossible to do both uh, if you do it seriously. I think there is a problem with on financial level. We, are, we have a good salary, so there is no need to order salary. And a third problem is, of course, conflict of interest. So I think that we can do better regarding this obligation to declare. Maybe we have to, to have a real uh, a mandatory uh, uh, possibility to say, no, you cannot have a second job. It must be resolved by the MEP itself. Um, yeah. Uh, in, in, in terms of public opinion, you, the member cannot make a good decision. If, if somebody is doing nothing aside, then there are a lot of people say this member starts very, very soon to have not a, a, to have not a clue of real life anymore. Uh, and the other ones, they, people say, well, he cannot get enough. I personally made my decision that I have no side job, yeah, mm -hmm. but I stand for the fact that this must be the personal decision of the member. I would say that more than improvements, the current system needs clarification. For, and for me, the key issue, which is the, the issue we, we, we are confronted to almost every day, is the relation between access to documents and data protection. A good starting point would be to look at those issues from the perspective of everything should be open in principle, everything should be accessible in principle, and only then we look at the exceptions and not the other way around, which is often the case in the EU administration. Yeah.